leave it all behind you I said take down everything that stands in your way Don't stop believing it'll work out again My friend Stand out and be a part of everything good Wake up, you're gonna be all that you should Try out all the things you always wanted to be You'll see Cause I know what I know That you've got it in you And I see that you are a winner I wrote an analogy last night This has to do with Christianity and Islam This is kind of how I feel about these huge money-making machines These what I consider to be very corrupt organizations an, an analogy. Imagine you have a big machine that makes a thousand mini pretzels, you know, those little bite sized kind, a second. Everyone just loves these pretzels, and the guy who owns the machine is getting very rich. Trouble is, for every 20,000 or so of the pretzels, one comes out twisted wrong, and every and very often these twisted wrong pretzels cause a little child to choke to death. When the man with the pretzel making machine is asked to fix the machine, he refuses and says there's only one right way to make pretzels. And if he does that, then they won't be right anymore. When it, when it is pointed out that some of his machine's pretzels are killing people, he says, Oh, those aren't real pretzels and does nothing, changes nothing, and accepts none of the blame. This is very much how I see the so-called peaceful religions of the world that have and do create harm. That's a post that I put up last night. I also had another analogy pop into my head this morning. If a man owns an orchard and he has a tree that puts out especially wonderful fruit, incredibly, just amazingly wonderful fruit, but some of the fruit is incredibly poisonous. It looks exactly the same as the fruit on the same tree that tastes really good, but, but every now and then there will be a, a piece of fruit same looks exactly the same on the same tree, except it's incredibly poison, poisonous, one bite and you're dead. And he doesn't know it. You know, he's, he's, he's harvesting the fruit from this tree and putting it out into stores. And then it comes back that people are Damn it! <laughs> I'm going to turn off my computer. Maybe or turn turn. Okay. Um, it comes back to him that some people are dying from some of the fruit on this tree. What would he do? What would you do if you had a tree that was giving that every now and then, even though it was an extremely amazing fruit tree, it had the most delicious fruit on it, but every now and then it was putting out something that killed people. Would you chop the tree down? you think? Or maybe take some seeds from one of those good apples? Maybe not even do that because you know the seeds could very well pass on that trait. Maybe you would just chop, chop the tree down and ground the stump so there's no chance of that tree coming back in any way, shape, or form. Even though some of it was good, is it worth the fact that some people die? The good stuff, is it worth? Does it? Does that override all the, all the deaths that have been caused. See, if I owned a tree like that, I would chop it down. I would destroy it utterly. But these religions, all they do is disown the bad fruit. Now I look at Christianity and I look at Islam as trees with branches. And you know, you know the quality of the fruit tree by its fruit. So what kind of fruit do we see growing on these trees? We see a lot of nice, normal fruit. Good people. Caring people. People that give credit to their goodness to the tree. Oh, I'm good because of this tree. Yeah, I'm good because of Christianity. I'm good because I'm, I'm a Muslim. They give credit to the source that produced them. But then you have the rotten fruit, the, tr the fruit that poisons, the fruit that causes, or the pretzel that's made wrong, you know, causes death. <laughs> it's coming from the same tree. And all the good fruit, 
oh no, that's not real. That's not a real Christian. That's not a real Muslim. They disown it. But they do nothing about, they do nothing to the source that is creating the bad, the horrible, poisonous thing or thing that's causing death or harm. They do nothing about it. They just, oh, well, that's not real. That's not, that's not, you know, they're not doing it right or whatever. They don't question the fact that the same tree produces the bad as produces them. They don't think about fixing the source or maybe let's do over. Let's write a new Bible. Let's write a new Quran. You know, because the current ones that you have are producing some seriously bad fruit. The current ones you have are causing, are giving evil people justification to do harm. The current ones. So why don't you burn the current versions? Why don't you write a better Bible and a better Quran that reflects you, the good that you, that you, all the cherry picked whatevers that you think reflect what Christianity really is about or what Islam really is about. Why don't you make a new holy book that reflects the way you think it should be and get rid of the old that I'm sorry is creating monsters that hurt and oppress and enslave and degrade and imprison and wrongfully kill and tear apart people's self-esteem. Why don't you get rid of those books that do that harm? Why don't you reinvent yourselves? Reinvent a holy book that doesn't have any of those horrible verses that people can use to hurt and kill other people. Get rid of those verses. The Bible still has the verse, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. It still has a verse that two men sleeping together should be killed. It still has the verses that if a woman is found with her rapist, they both should be killed. It still has the verses that a woman should have to marry her rapist. The Bible is filled with crap, evil, vile verses that people can use to this day as excuses to oppress, to de demean, to take away people's human rights. It's creating bad fruit. And this bad fruit is walking around saying, look at me. I'm a Christian. I'm a Muslim. Because look at my tree that I came from. It's the same tree as all these others came from. I'm sorry that's bad English, but I'm sick. I came from that same tree. I am just as much a Christian. I am just as much a Muslim as they are. And all the majority that's, oh no, you're not. You're not like us at all. Well, we came from the same tree. Why don't you do something about that? Your tree is producing harmful fruit that is causing death and destruction and hurt and destroying people's lives. Why don't you do something about the source that is causing these, these, these deaths? Instead of, oh no, that's not really what, that's not a real Muslim. Muslim, Islam is a peaceful religion. Christianity is a peaceful religion. That's not really a Christian. Those, those Westminster, Miss Minister, whatever, Baptist, Bible thumper people. They're not really Christians. They came from the same tree you did. And Isis came from the same tree. Maybe you should prune the tree. Maybe you should fucking tear it down and re start over. Take the best aspects of your fucking cult. And I'm sorry, that's what it deserves to be called in its present form. And rewrite it. Make it be all these things you claim it is. But I'm sorry, but by the fruits it produces, I don't believe that's true. By the fruits it produces, I don't call that a peaceful religion. I don't call Islam a peaceful religion because I look at the tree and I see what it produces. I don't call Christianity a peaceful religion for the same reason. So fix the tree. Get rid of the tree. You know? 
Take away all the crap in the Bible. Get rid of it. Oh, it's holy. It's God's word. It's, it's, it's every word in the Bible is 100% inspired by God. Really? There used to be 30 some gospels. They were all, most of them, almost all of them, were either rejected or then later removed from the Bible. If they can be ripped out of the Bible, even though they were God's word, holy word, inspired by God, they were ripped out because they didn't, they didn't represent the, the religion. They did not represent what the Christianity that the people of the day wanted. So they were ripped out. So fucking rip out. The stuff that is creating the, the poison fruit that is killing people and taking away women's rights and gays' rights and blowing up abortion clinics and telling, telling people that gays should be put behind barbed wire. Take out those verses. And if you don't want to, then stop fucking whining about how people don't like your cult. Stop whining about the fact that people are resentful and angry and even hate your cult. Because you know what? That is justified. All I have to do is look at the harm that your cults cause to the world. And I think I am totally justified to feel anger and resentment and hatred. And until you do something about it, you have no right to whine and be all upset about how you are treated because you're just sitting on your hands doing nothing except deny, deny, deny and trying to disown the same product, the produce that comes from the same tree that you did. Anyway, wow, this video went crazy. I'm sorry, I'm sick. I just, I just, I get tired of the whining. On Facebook right now, we have under HuffPost Religion, they're having a campaign. Try to understand what it's like to be a Muslim in America. How? What's it like to be a Muslim on college campuses? What's it like to be a Muslim in Hollywood, in in the in the movie business? All these things because they're you know they're trying really hard for people to understand that Muslims are nice people. I think most of us get that. I think most of us understand that Muslims are nice people. Just like most of us understand that most Christians are nice people. The problem is not the people. The problem is the source that creates some nice people, most nice people, but every now and then you get somebody that's out there chopping people's heads off or killing somebody for whatever reason in the name of God because such and such verse says so. Get rid of the verses that say things that's, that causes these, these. I mean, they're still, they're still going to be evil in the world. But then at least it won't be on your religion. They, they won't be able to use, use your religion as justification. Isn't that a good thing? So rewrite your religion. Reinvent it. Get rid of these archaic, stupid tomes that do nothing but give, ex give justification to vile people, to murder in the name of God. Get rid of those. Rewrite those. Join the 21st century. You know? Write a, write a holy book that is only filled with those warm and fuzzy verses and then maybe people will stop attacking your cult. Anyway, I'm sick. <laughs> uh, if you've been watching, thank you. Bye! I just wanted to add, <laughs> I really have a bad head cold and um, I think I said West Minutes Westminster or Westminster Baptist. I meant Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> and I don't have the energy to redo the video, so I sound like an idiot, but I just wanted to make a correction. I actually meant to say Westboro Baptist Church in this video. So anyway, again, if you've been watching, thank you. <laughs> Bye. I am uh absolutely convinced that the main source of hatred in the world is religion. And I think it should be re religion treated with ridicule and hatred and contempt.
promise right 